And we'll get a lot of health back here anyway from Giga Drain. Let's see how much this does. Okay. He freezes me though, which is kind of a big deal. I just, I might have just actually, that actually might be a really big deal. Butterfree, go! Okay, so listen, this isn't a guaranteed win by any means. I think we'll be okay though. Of course, the over level, yeah, it's okay though. Like I said, I, the level cap is a soft level cap. It's imposed by the game, so it's not a big deal. All right, so let us head in here. Let's battle these trainers real quick because I do have to battle them. I don't think they're that. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna be so easy. All right, team, it is about that time. We are gonna jump into our first boss battle of the day, which is gonna be Chuck. If you guys enjoy watching this on YouTube afterwards, show some love, hit that like button down below here on Radical Red Hardcore Nuzlocke Attempt 2. Our game plan for today is to take on Chuck here. Uh, get the Focus Sash from him, then we're gonna take on Misty, get the Gyaradosite from her, and then we're gonna take on Koga, which will hopefully be a relatively easy sweep for us. But uh, this is the team we're rocking for this battle against Chalk. It's uh, it's actually uh, Physically Defensive Meganium, Physically Defensive Behem, Physically Defensive Reuniclus, now Physically Defensive Gyarados, Offensive Aerodactyl, and Physically Defensive Tuberstein the Corsola, Corsola rather. So uh, let's do it. Our strategy basically Intimidate on first turn, Swap around a little bit and uh, hopefully not get wrecked. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello there, little chump. I'm Chuck and I've taken over as the karate master of this dojo. I could put you in a chokehold in a matter of seconds if I wanted to. It has nothing to do with Pokemon. A uh, challenger long ago once said the same thing. Come on, we shall do battle. Okay. Let's do battle, Chuck. He leads off with hit moan top, of course, the spinning dreidel at level 67. We get a nice little intimidate off on him here which is very, very nice. And I predict the fake out here. So we are gonna go into Tuberstein, Steen, Steen, Tuberstein. The Tuberstein comes in for the fake out, does no damage. And then basically what we do now is we are going to Will-O-Wisp. He's gonna Brutal Swing, but this should do very little to me. It does very little to me. I get a Cursed Body, which means he's kind of forced to switch out. I get the Willow off. And I'm actually going to predict a switch here and go for Will-O-Wisp again now that I have burned him. That is going to break his Focus Sash. I'm going to Willow again. He actually stays in and Brutal Swings, which shows me that Cursed Body is indeed cursed. So we have to keep that in mind. It doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. That's okay. Let's go for Nightshade here. He's going to stay in, continuously Brutal Swing me. This is fine. Um, I think now we Strength Sap and then we Nightshade for the KO. Unfortunately, that means I have to take the hit, but this should give us... Enough health to get to full or darn close. And if not, I can always switch out. He's very, very weakened. So if I want to switch out and let someone else come in to kind of finish off this hit on top, we definitely have that option. Um, it's actually not a bad option to go Kaylee here. Who would that bring in though? If I were to go Kaylee right now, who does that bring in? Maybe Gallade. Either way though, it's not a bad bet to just bring Kaylee in here, take the hit and then just finish him off. Thank you, Rhino. Cause we will beat him with Draining Kiss if I do that. And a Brutal Swing is gonna do so little damage. Let's do that. That keeps Gooberstein at full health. And it gives me my Meganium in, which I guess is okay. I mean, either one. I think keeping Tuberstein on the field is nice because then you get to Willow, whatever comes in. But I think this is gonna be just fine. And let's just go for our first Draining Kiss, which will knock out the hit on top. Positioning is really important, but um, yeah, I don't know who comes in next, actually. Um, I do need to keep Kaylee around though for Breloom, so whoever comes in next, I'll have to be really mindful of what I decide to do. It probably is Lucario though, which means that I kind of messed up a little bit, but let's see. It is Lucario, okay. So generally this thing is gonna wanna, if I had to guess, I think he Swords Dances here. So I think what I wanna do is I think I wanna go Tuberstein and then try to burn him, knowing I can probably always live one hit. He probably Swords Dances. He does Swords Dance, okay. He goes for Meteor Mash. We should live one, no problem, though. I really need to hit this Will-O-Wisp. Oh my god, Tuberstein. How is that even fair? How is that even fair? Can we evaluate that? He did, he's plus two Lucario. He did 30% to me, dog. That's how much he did. He did 30%. Wow. This thing, guys. Just, I just need to make sure I never speed up when he's about to level up and I accidentally evolve him like last time, bro. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bulldoze. Oh, he's a Shooka Berry. So if I bulldoze, he'll actually, it won't actually do that much. Um, he close combats. This should do very little unless he crits. 
does very little as expected. That actually just drops his defenses. I'll break his Shookaberry here, and this will give me a situation where another Bulldoze will KO. And now I get to just go for another Bulldoze with no, no drawbacks. Uh, the Clar Lucario is forced to close combat because it doesn't want to miss the Meteor Mash in this context. We're sitting at an incredible amount of HP. This battle should be a walk in the park at this point. Here comes Polyrath. So my default switch into Polyrath here really is going to be... I feel like it's Kaylee again. But I also don't want to... So this thing is most likely going to go for Ice Punch right now, is my guess. He actually Surging Strikes here, which I'm very surprised about. Uh, let's see how much this does. I don't think it's going to do that much, though. Yeah, it's really not doing that much. It's going to hit three times, I think. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go for Trick Room. He's going to Surging Strikes again, but we know it's going to crit every time. That's fine. I get my Trick Room up. I get some leftovers. I'm going to utilize... I'm going to utilize the Trick Room now. I mean, I could clearly Psychic here. I just I just don't know if that's the best decision. Let's actually just go... Well, burning him doesn't really make a lot of sense. I could go Kaylee and just Giga Drain him. So yeah, let's just go Kaylee. I'll take the Surging Strikes. It's fine. I could take an Ice Punch. Let's Giga Drain. This will give me a lot of health back. And it'll make it so, like, if he Ice Punches me, it, there's no way it's going to KO. That's a 2 at Chaos. That's perfect. And we'll get a lot of health back here anyway from Giga Drain. Let's see how much this does. Okay. He freezes me, though, which is kind of a big deal. I just... I might have just actually... That actually might be a really big deal. That actually might be, like, a really big deal. I'm going to go Nucleus. Because that was my way to beat Breloom. Okay. Um, Let's go for Psychic. All right. I beat Polyrath. If Breloom comes in, I think I still have one more turn of Trick Room. Uh, no, I don't. Okay. It is Gallade. Okay. So, my hard swap here is always Tuberstein. I don't think there's any reason to Trick Room. I think I just go Tuberstein because he's going to bulk up anyway. I need to get off this Will-O-Wisp and not miss. He goes for bulk up as expected. I have to Will-O-Wisp here and not miss. He's going to bulk up plus two. So, this Will-O-Wisp will cancel that out as long as I don't miss. Okay. Now, he obviously has high crit moves, but the only one that's really a concern here, he generally wants to Shadow Sneak. I'm going to Strength Sap to be safe. He Psycho Cuts. This can crit me, though. This could do a lot. It does. You can see it's not a 2 at KO, though, so that's fine. And this will drop his attack, so if he doesn't crit me, it's fine. All right. I only have one Strength Sap left, so let's Nightshade. He Bulk Ups again. Okay. I think you Nightshade again, actually. You don't Strength Sap here. He Psycho Cuts. We know we live the crit, though. Okay, we get another Nightshade off. This may KO with Burn. Uh, it doesn't. Okay. So now I Strength Sap and hope he doesn't crit me. If he gets a super high crit roll, he may knock me out, but I don't think so. No, he doesn't get the crit anyway. Strength Sap comes off. That's going to get Tuberstein at a very nice amount of health right now. Okay. And Gallade is going to go down to his Burn. Okay. So here's the thing. We're not out of the woods yet. Um... The problem is, he's going to want to Spore, right? And my default play was Kaylee every time here. I'm not convinced that's a good play now, though. What I do think might be a better play is going Magnolia, getting an Intimidate, and then swapping out. Because he has no way to set up on me. He's just Spore sub. And I do have dual wing beat Aerodactyl, right? So it's not like I don't have an option. Even he sets up a substitute. It's not like I don't have an option. So he does spore me, but there is a sleep clause in this game. So he can only put one thing to sleep at a time. So that's fine. So now I'm going to go Nucleus. Okay, so now what we do is we click Trick Room and we take a Focus Punch to the face. Yep. And here it comes. We're going to get punched in the face. But he's minus one, and we are physically defensive Reed and Quiz. Oh, we eat this up. This isn't even, a, isn't even a concern, team. We're fine. So let's just click Psychic now a few turns in a row. He's going to keep focus punching us. I'll break his substitute here. He no longer has the freedom to, um, like, freely sub all over again. Because now he's got to take a Psychic first. So now we just click Psychic. And we may just knock him out. If we don't, then another one will. Okay, you can turn off emote only mode. Easy win. Um, it got a little dicey there for a second, but nothing that we couldn't handle, so. Nice. All right, so we beat Chuck, and he gives you Drain Punch, he gives you Expert Belt, and now, what does he do? What does he want to see? If you show me a Pokemon, you invest in Attack. Oh, uh, Aerodactyl. And he gives you Galladay and Focus Sash, and that's really what you're looking for. We want Crabrawler. 
And Agent, you get to nickname this thing. So hit me with it. Hey, Casey, thank you so much. Let me just go grab out of the PC. I thought it was gonna prompt me a nickname there. It didn't. For Brawly. This is a super good mon, so I'm really excited about it. All right, so now our next opponent is going to be, I should save. Our next opponent is gonna be Misty now. So we're gonna do the Misty rematch. And you might be like, why? Well, the beauty of the Misty rematch is you get Gyaradosite and Gyaradosite allows you to sweep Koga without any concerns. Like you just 100% sweep Koga. So because I can always sweep Koga, it's worth battling Misty first. Cause Koga can actually be kind of tricky. And I feel like I have a better matchup trying to beat Misty than I would Koga. So in a nutshell, we have some really good mons for this battle though. Meganium being the first thing that I think of, obviously. Um, I think you probably bring Gyarados, but. Grabominable. I used Grabominable a lot in the last run. A lot, a lot more than I thought I would. It's a good dot, it's a good typing. And like priority is always good, right? Especially in a game like this, where things are just busted in general. Having something that can always outspeed stuff. And then Iron Iron Fist boosted Mach Punch is like no joke. And it gets Ice Shard in this game. It has a lot of buffs, right? Which is what makes it good, but. This is one of those things where I could sit here and prep all day kind of thing, but I, I do feel like we have a solid team. So I'm gonna just let it rip. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna face uh, Misty here in the rematch. There are some situations where this does go wrong, but I do feel like we should be okay. The reason why we're doing this fight is you get Gyaradosite. And, and to me, that's just incredibly valuable. Um, just a really, really good item. So, yeah, I mean, there's a, like I said, there's a few ways where this goes poorly. Uh, the big thing is we need good rolls on Fatterstein, right? Getting good rolls on Snorlax really helps this battle. Oh, hey, welcome back. You've returned at the nick of time. My Pokemon and I have been dying for a Remax. Although you've already have a badge, I have a special items to give as a reward. All right, let's do it. Now again, getting Gyarados out here is really valuable. It basically just means you, you straight up win later against Koga. All right, so now we've got Politoed. It's gonna set up the rain. I've got Jimmy here. Jimmy Jimmy loves the rain, for those who don't know. So we just get to click Giga Drain. I was gonna fake out, but I assumed he was switching, so I wasn't. I think he just goes for flip turn anyway, though. But that's a two hit KO, so that's good. Does he flip turn? He does flip turn. Okay, so that does very pitiful damage. So he's gonna hurricane like a million percent right now. We assume the hurricane comes. I think the play is Fatterstein because he's gonna hurricane. So let's just go Fatterstein right now. It's probably the safest bet. Here comes the hurricane. We knew that was coming. So things can go poorly, right? Like if I get the wrong rest or uh, if I get confused, it could be a little bit annoying, some things like that, but we should be fine. Um, I just click body slam here. It probably surfs. Yeah, surf because of rain. All right, we get the body slam off. I don't get a para, but this is the situation where like, this is where Fatterstein struggles a little bit, right? Cause I have to basically click rest here. So things get a little dicey all of a sudden. And now you have two turns of sleep talk. So turn one of sleep talk right here. Okay, just gotta hit this. Facade, perfect. Okay, Kingdra's gone. Now I think, I mean, does Gyarados come in next? Okay, so now is where we really need to figure out how do I want to approach this, right? Because he's gonna shell smash here. So I think the play here is you predict, you predict the shell smash 100% of the time and you go Tori, you Mega Evolve and you Leaf Blade for the KO. I hope I didn't mess this up. And if this thing to say, yeah, he's gonna shell smash. So that's expected. So I should outspeed here with the Mega Evolution. Um, he gets the shell smash off, obviously. He's got white herb. So now, oh, is he swift swim and I didn't think about it? No, he's regenerator, okay. Whew, I was about to be very scared. Okay, what's the button to Mega Evolve again? I probably should think of these things ahead of time. It is enter, okay. So, assuming I didn't mess up this calc, we should be able to Mega Evolve here. We should be able to outspeed and we should be able to knock it out with a leaf flame. Whether all those things are gonna come to fruition at this moment, I'm not sure, but I do outspeed, so that's a good start. And assuming I didn't mess up this cow, we should KO. Worst case scenario, I lose Septon here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Ain't even a stressful thing. All right, we're good to go. All right, so there goes that. I think I win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we just beat anything that's not called Gyarados, we just win now. Anything not named Gyarados, we KO right now. And even Gyarados, there's a chance I might be able to get the KO. Here comes Greninja. Pretty sure I just KO Greninja too. I'm gonna run the count. Um, 
He he one shots me, but I don't think there's any way Greninja is living a hit here. He water shurikens in rain, but I'm water dra or grass dragon, so it's a 4x resist. Yeah, so he, he just gets knocked out. Okay, now I have to deal with Inteleon and Gyarados. And Inteleon's the same thing, right? We just we just click Leap Blade and Gyarados. I think we do the same thing. It's Inteleon next. Same situation, I just click Leap Blade. This thing is busted for this fight. Okay, sweet. And then now, now the only thing I have to do is just not lose the Gyarados, basically. So I think I actually just go for the the first attack and just go for a Leaf Blade, try to crit him. And then I switch into Meganium on the following turn, because he's gonna Dragon Dance anyway, so like, it's really a non-issue. Meganium comes in and, and gets a priority Giga Drain off. I don't think he is any sort of a concern. So if I crit this, that'd be really nice, but this should do even like 40%, 60% somewhere in there. Yeah, so about the 60. He does Dragon Dance as expected. I think I'm faster though, didn't we go through this already? Didn't we establish I was faster than Gyarados? I may just win by just attacking again. Gyarados is adamant max level 66. So he hits 259, I'm faster. So I think I just click Leaf Blade again. I don't think that was a crit on the first one, so this should be plenty. Sweet, Misty's down, let's go. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. As I thought, you're a super talented trainer. As promised, here you go. And we get the Gyarados site and a Froakie. Let's rename our little Froakie here. And Rush Leader chooses Shinobi. And I'm not gonna be like super anticlimactic about it, but I'm gonna also be super anticlimactic about it. Um, I love that fight because of Greninja. He doesn't outspeed me. Greninja hold my drink. Well, he went for a priority move. He still didn't, he didn't outspeed me. He had a priority move. Um, okay, so. Gyarados just straight up wins, but uh, let me get to, yeah, Mega Gyarados just sweeps this. So, okay, so I think we're fine, but for those who don't know, we're gonna take on Koga next. Uh, Koga is a really interesting battle, and this is why we just took on Misty, is to obtain the Gyarados site. The Gyarados site allows us to Mega Evolve the Gyarados. There's a situation where your opponent leads with Prankster Quillfish, and for those who don't know the mechanics, Prankster does not work against dark types. So Quillfish has three moves, Waterfall, Taunt, Toxic Spikes. The AI always wants to go for Taunt first because it sees that you have Dragon Dance, but if you Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance, he can no longer taunt you because you are a Dark type. Then you just continuously click Dragon Dance as it Toxic Spikes and Waterfalls you. Actually, it can't even Toxic Spike you. It can only Waterfall you. Does very little damage to you. You go to plus six and then you sweep at that point. So that is basically what we do. Team is ready to rock. I didn't prep really at all for this. I'm planning on the sweep with Gyarados. If something changes and it doesn't work, then I'd probably get messed up a little bit, but I think we can do it either way. So let's get it! Wah ha A mere child likes you dare to challenge me! Very well, I should show you that the Terra is a ninja master! All right. Ninja Master Koga here. He's got a really interesting team, so. He does leave with that Quillfish, and again, as long as we Mega Evolve, turn one, he cannot stop our Dragon Dance, and the AI generally just keeps the Quillfish in. So we're going to Mega, and we're gonna Dragon Dance, and then you just you just sit there. Pretty sure, I mean, if this, if I don't get the plus six, there is the chance that something can mess me up. Like if he hard swaps into Selgor or something like that, I may have some issues here, but I, I don't anticipate any issues. Uh, he does stay in, he goes for Toxic Spikes. I'm plus three, I'm plus four, he waterfalls, plus five, plus six, and now we win. Uh, there's a handful of battles at this point of the game where if you have just the right combination of Pokemon, you can sweep. Uh, he has a Sash, but that's fine. Um, that combination, we saw it, uh, there's a few times where we would sweep in attempt one with Swampert. You basically flip turn the Politoed and then go Swampert, power up punch for the KO and then sweep. Um, there's a few instances like that in this game where you can kind of take advantage of just the opponent not really having good options, um, and this is one of them. So, um, yeah, I mean, if this is Selgor was like Focus Sash, there'd be a massive problem, right? But plus six is Selgor, nothing is living any of these hits. Like that's just that's just the reality of it. Um, plus six Gyarados, incredibly powerful. It's just really good. Here comes Greninja. Um, it can water Shuriken me if it wanted to. Um, 
but I think you just Aquafang here. So 80 times stab is 120, bulldoze is 60, you get cut in half, it's the same amount of damage. He does water shuriken because it's his only way to hit you. Okay, he loses HP, Aquafang comes off. It's gonna KO. Very nice. And then, now it's uh, Drapion Toxicity and Dragapult left. Now, if I wasn't using this strat, I do think that there's an easy way to beat Koga. Like, the team I have is really good. You know, Snorlax rolls the Dragapult 100%. It beats a Selgor as well. The Quillfish, you could just run like a, you can run like a Amoongus pretty easily. Uh, Amoongus is actually really good in this battle. Um, and I have a Crocodile as well, which is also really nice, because Crocodile would allow me to beat this, this Toxtricity relatively well. Crocodile would allow me to beat the Drapion really well. Um, so, like, me having a Crocodile actually makes this battle a lot easier. But he does have Mega Toxtricity, which is uh, pretty solid in this game. But we're going to one-shot it with 4x, super effective. Bulldoze, and we are going to wreck Koga's face in like the bosses that we are, ladies and gentlemen. This Drapion gives people fits, though, normally, just an FYI. It's Choice Scarf with Sniper, which has boosted critical hit, wicked blows. It's really good. But not today. Not against me. GG's, Koga. Koga goes down. So three solid battles so far. And we beat Chuck. We beat Misty. And now we beat Koga. We get Sludge Bomb, which is really nice. And then you have to show him a really fast Pokemon next. So let me go do that just to get... He gives you Life Orb. So we want that. You're so good at this game. I'm on a 10-7. And I haven't gotten past the Psychic Double Gym battle. I don't think everyone knows how insane this is. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what people think. Um, I will say I got some really nice comments on the... Um, I got some really nice comments on the last episode of people just complimenting kind of the plays and the strategies, which is always nice. It's a good feeling, you know? I appreciate it.